Ian, breathless stuff. What did you make of it? Uh, it's um, it's pretty whirlwind, isn't it, at this level? You know, um, I just burst in with pride, really. I think some of the football we played, um, how we tried to do it, what we learned from last week, and how we've um, improved in in such a quick time. You know, and uh, you think that Luke Varney only came yesterday. It's, it's a tall order, but you know, I thought we were absolutely terrific, even in the first half when we're we're one down. You know, um, delighted for him, but I, we have to learn a harsh lesson there. When we got a free kick and you're in front, I want my team to drop off and try and get the ball and pass it. I don't want to kick it long, lose it, and then they go and equalise. I want to keep the ball. We had a hundred percent of the ball. Why make it fifty-fifty? I don't understand. But never mind. Do I sense a, a hint of disappointment because you would come from behind because it looked as though you were going to win it? I, I just think our second goal would have deserved to win any game, and obviously we, we got to learn in this level that if you give anybody half a yard of space, they will slot it through you, and they're so quick. And that proved it again. I don't think Charlie stayed with his runner, but you know what I wanted my boys to do is realise when we got the free kick, um, we need to go back to what we do on the training ground and show me the structure, show me where you are, and, and try and pass the ball. Um, but you know, as I say, we needed it. we needed it to score at home. We needed a good day today, and I thought we had one. It was fantastic. There's going to be goals following you this season, isn't there? Because of the system that you play, as much as anything. You, okay, you might leave yourself open at times, but boy, oh boy, did you go for it? I thought we defended really well today. I think you know there was a, even a question mark whether my centre half was tripped up. Um, I have to say, I think in this level, people fall over far too easy. There's some big, strong boys there, and they go down like they've been shot. Um, and maybe some of my lot will have to learn that, you know, to get a free kick. But um, if I if I was teaching some young lads, I'm not saying they're doing it deliberately. I'm just saying that the referee's got to realise what's a foul and what isn't. And um, you know, if I was teaching some young lads, oi, stay on your feet. There's money in the game. But um, you know, I thought it was a, a terrific game. Mark's got a great side there. And you know, when I watched them last last Saturday against Manchester United, I thought, good gracious me, you're one of the best. But it's amazing what you can do with a spirit and um, a little bit of guts and determination. And, and I've got to say, that I can't wait to watch that second goal that we scored. Well, let's talk about it then, because Luke Varney, as you say, barely probably even knew his teammates, let alone played much with them this, uh, this week. Slots in almost as though he's played there for a season or so. Yeah, I think it's the system. I think, you know, I know he can play 4 3 3, and I think, um, you know, we had to adapt that a little bit today into a 4 2 Three one and and I think that suits him. Um, he's got the pace that we need. He you know and hopefully he can come here and enjoy himself with us. And uh, I've always been an admirer of his. And he went for a couple of million quid a few years ago. We won't be buying people like that. But you know hopefully I can get hold of him and and play a system that really does suit him. And it's it's great to score a goal. On, you know I don't they give him the first one as well. I'm not sure about the second one. That was a fantastic goal. You've already said you've mentioned you brought him in. Um, any more potential dealings, wheeler dealings, in or out before the end of the month? Yeah, I was absolutely devastated yesterday. I thought we had at least three more yesterday, and, and you know, until you've got them in the bag, they can wriggle out sometimes. And these rules and work permits and all sorts of stuff, and it's all a little bit hectic. But I'll get, I'll leave that to my chairman, who's um, definitely holding his nerve. We can't hold it much longer. You know, the, the window's closing, and it's bank holiday Monday, and it closes on Tuesday, so. I'd like to see us get seven or eight players that I want by then. As many as that? Yeah, I think we're, we're absolutely hampered by um, the rules of this Barclays Premier League that we're in. Um, it suits the rich and doesn't suit us poor. But, you know, I'm so proud of our, look what we've managed to do. You know, the chairman's built that stand. He's obviously got the other stand, the project going. We've got this game on and the pitch looked fantastic and it was brilliant to see how well the Premiership lads play and, and my boys I'm really proud of them I thought we played some great stuff today and, and it was contributed to a really good game and so did Fulham So Blackpool fans should listen out for a few wheeler dealer moments in the next couple of days then Well I'd like the, for the window to slam shut to be honest because I, I can't see how it's fair I can't see how this makes any sense to anybody and I don't even see who it helps because I literally got some young lads who I watched in the reserves the other day play against Morecambe to open that stand which no one else has had to do, um, who's got promoted. They've all had to get squads together, but we've had to build a stand. Um, I watch some of them, and I don't think they're ready yet, but I can borrow some foreign lads under 21 that don't count as many as I like if I can find them and if I've seen them and play them in my first team. How does that work? 
Do you know what I mean? How, who is that actually helping? Why don't you leave the window wide open and when you need a player, you can add to it, just like we used to do. You know? I hope Mr. Seth Blatter is listening because I don't like these rules at all and I think this 24 Bosman thing is just absolutely ridiculous. Well, Mark, we're beside the seaside and it was a real roller coaster today, wasn't it? Highs and lows. Yeah, you'd have to say that. I think we were reasonably pleased with uh, what we produced in the first half. Obviously, we won nil to the good. So at that point, um, obviously speaking at half time, we wanted to keep um, our shape and uh, not allow Blackpool back into the game. Unfortunately, we lost a little bit of focus uh, to our player when we lost Bobby Samora. And during that period, obviously Blackpool uh, were able to capitalise on a couple of individual errors, and um, we found ourselves behind in the game. But uh, Fair play to the lads. I thought they really showed a great, great deal of character. We, we haven't been great on our travels in recent times, but that's two points acquired uh, from two difficult away games this season. So we're still unbeaten. Um, so all in all, I think we, we have to be reasonably pleased with, with what we've got today. I imagine Blackpool will take from this game that they've got to score when they're on top. They were on top when you guys scored. And I imagine that's one of the cruel fates of the Premier League, isn't it? Well, yeah, that's right. I mean, you've got to take it your chances uh, when they present themselves so obviously we, we scored two outstanding goals uh, and that's the quality that you'll face in the Premier League uh, if you can do remarkably well and then all of a sudden it only takes one mistake and, and you can see goals so uh, Blackpool I think have, I've learned that already so it, it's a really difficult league but um, uh, they caused us problems today and credit to them but uh, obviously the, the atmosphere in the ground will, will help them uh, during their home games, maybe away from home, uh, they do like to play a really expansive game. Maybe that will um, compromise them on, on occasions, given the quality that's in this league. But at home, I think they'll cause teams problems. You mentioned Bobby Zamora. He was your outstanding player, I think. Um, got a knock there. You mentioned that. How bad is that? Well, he he's, he's obviously hopeful of of making the England squad uh, and we wait on, on the announcement on that but uh, I'd have to say at the moment um, he's, he looks very doubtful for that because um, it's really stiffened up and uh, he'll have to get it checked obviously but um, we're hopeful that not, he's not going to be out for any period of time. He was obviously here, Fabio Capello this is, probably looking at people like Bobby Zamora, maybe even David Stockdale, were you aware he was here? Was, was Bobby, was David aware that he was here? No, I don't think so, I don't think... Um, we weren't made aware. Um, obviously, there's, there's talk of, of a couple of our players possibly being involved, uh, um, one of them being David Stockdale. Uh, he's done really well in, in the games that he's played, and uh, we'd be delighted if he did make the squad. Unfortunately, he went over on his ankle as well, so um, if he was picked, then he would be a doubt as well. And Dixon, too, who doesn't get many goals, does he? But a, a very calm head. Well, yeah, we were trying to encourage Dixon to get forward more this, this season. I mean, he's a big physical specimen and uh, he takes some stopping once he gets in his stride. So we tried to encourage that this year and um, obviously he's got defensive duties that he's very mindful of. But if we can release him at the right time, as we did with a fantastic ball by Moussa Dembele, who I thought was excellent today, um, then he has the calmness of and um, thought to, to be able to take chances if, if he's in positions like that. So I was really delighted for him. Is three points from three games a fair reflection of Fulham so far? Well, we've had two two away games and, and a game against Manchester United at home, so we're unbeaten. Yeah, we need to obviously put three points on, on the board, but um, I've been encouraged by what I've seen so far, and uh, we'll get better as the season gets on better. You mentioned Dembele as well. Interesting first Premier League start for him today, but will there be a chance to add to those names that have come in, in the last few days before Tuesday? Uh, we'll wait and see. I mean, there's... There's always opportunities uh, towards the, the closure of the window and we'll wait and see what, what presents itself. But um, if, there's, if there's players out there that we think will enhance what quality we already have, then we'll try and pursue them.